Well, hello. Welcome to Hopewell Valley Central High School. I'm Will Randall, and this is... Josh Wargo. And we're here to bring you uh, some clips from our glorious school and to um, just get you more informed on what we're doing around here. I'm sure you've seen our programs many a time. Uh, we flood the airwaves with these uh, high-tech, wonderful shows that we put on. Now high-tech, because we have a new switch here. So... Anyway, we're going to bring you into uh, JV Baseball right now. So if we could roll that clip just about now. Thank you. Well, that was excellent. Uh, this year, uh, we had a rather good season compared to uh, a couple other seasons. Uh, we were coached by a Mr. Sheck, who is not currently employed by the school, but an excellent baseball coach. Some of the key players did include a CJ Nami, Matt Boyle, and a Kenny Paul. Um, what I do know, what I've been hearing, the rumor around the baseball fanatics of our school is that we're really looking at this uh, JV freshman baseball team to be the building block of a strong foundation for excellence in baseball in the years to come. Because baseball is our great American national pastime. So with that, we're going to be moving on to uh, boys lacrosse. And I believe my good friend here, Josh Schwargo, who really does like boys, will tell you about lacrosse. Uh, oh. Well, boys lacrosse had a good year. They made it to states. Uh, they were coached by Mr. Sullivan and uh, assisted by Mr. Seibel. They lost in the first round of states against, to the number two team, but played a pretty good game. Uh, the captains were Brian Switoka, Brian Piccarello, Dave Johnson. Uh, we had a lot of people make the CBC All-Stars. Matt Murray and Pete Dolan made it first team. Matt Murray's a goalie and Pete Dolan's a forward. I mean, oh, I think he played forward and midi. Uh, second team was uh, Mike Vicente, Brian Piccarello, a defensive man and a midi. An honorable mention for John Banks, a defensive man. Our leading scorers were Matt Coopy and uh, Pete Dolan. And we had a great year. That sounds good. Currently, we're going to go to uh, Whitney. Currently. We're going to go currently. We're going to go to the immediately. Hello, my name's James. I'm Whitney. And I'm Melissa. And we're here to talk to you about girls across right now. Uh, the varsity team had a very good season this year. They had a 9 6 record. And this year, like last year, they were coached by Sarah Wagner and Barbara Skiba. Um, captains this year were the three seniors Allison Potenza, Samantha Warner, and Angela Marucci. And the two leading scorers were Sarah Logiman and Meredith Baccia. And we had two huge wins this year, that which were big upsets against Petty and West Windsor. I believe Petty was ranked second in the area and West Windsor fifth. So, and we we weren't ranked in the top five or not even the top ten maybe. So that was that was really big for us. And we made it to the states this year, the first time in like ten years. And in the first round, we had to play Mountain Lakes, uh, who was the seventh ranked team. And it was an unfortunate way to end the season because. Their, si their field was too small, so it wasn't size regulation. And, but we hope that next year we can have just as good a season or even better. And so from that, we're going to go back to Josh and Will, and they're going to tell you about Allison Potenza, one of the lacrosse captains. Oh, welcome back once again. Well, first let me just inform you that later in the program, we're going to be showing you a teleportation device that will teleport myself and Josh over to our uh, fellow friends over uh, Melissa and all them. So now, what are we going to be talking about, Josh? Anyway, um, see. I'm, we're, I did an interview earlier with uh, Allison Potenza. She's a senior in our school. She's lacrosse captain and um, is uh, going to Gettysburg for college. And here's this interview. Well, I guess her new address would be Gettysburg. Hopewell Valley Central High School. <laughs> what do I like about Hopewell Valley? Um, I guess the fact that it's a close-knit community and <laughs> everyone knows everything about everyone else. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but <laughs> so. All right. <laughs> now, um, what have you done for uh, this great school in your um, career here? <sighs> Let's see. Um, well, I was a representative for the um, New Jersey Girls State from Hopewell Valley High School. And let's see, I was part of the National Honor Society. <laughs> don't really realize. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know what else. 
Student Council? Student Council, yes, I was the uh, spirit committee. We ran the pep rallies and stuff this year. <sighs> and I was a peer leader, so that's pretty good. <laughs> All right, and um, I'm, you participated in a club, uh, something about making houses or something. Tell us about that. Oh, yeah, um, I was part of the Presbyterian Youth Group and um, in Pennington, and we went to West Virginia for a week, and we uh, rebuilt houses for people. Uh, who are less fortunate, so it was a really good experience. Sure. Now, um, in the yearbook, you won this <laughs> superb name of being uh, we, we did actually, oh, whoa. You're not allowed to say that. Uh, we froze that on purpose to uh, bring to you the quality and goodness of having cameras oh. uh, to stop those treasured moments, such as that was with Josh and Allison Potenza. Both seniors in our school may never meet again, so having that frozen image in time will better uh, help their memories. How do I get stuck with him? When they get older. So now we're going to go back Why to our friends them? next door. They're cool. Let's be with him. Hello. Hello. We're, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Mrs. Baker. Mrs. Baker is one of our attendance officers. She is a secretary in the main office that answers the phones. She keeps track of who goes in and out of the school. And she's been here for about 25 years. She's a great woman. And here's her interview. Things you have to do throughout the day. Empty the homeroom folders, you know, for the absentees. Do the mail, all incoming mail. Wait on the counter. Answer the telephones. Now, what's your favorite part of the job? Just being here. I don't have a favorite part. It's just, I just like to be here. You like the children and all the kids that go here? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. They keep me young. So, um, how, what have you seen change throughout the year, your 25-year career in high school? Well, I used to do attendance. I did all the attendance before computers. I put it all in by, I did it all in books by hand. And now the computers come, and I am not a computer person. And that's a, that's a difference. That's, you know, there's a lot of, the kids are different now than when I first came here. When I first came here, we had 1,500 kids, one principal and one vice principal, 1,500 students. It's different now, but still fun. I still like working here. I'm not sure. Well, I hope you enjoyed that interview. And now, in the line of interviews, we're going to give you an interview of Mrs. Arbitel. Mrs. Arbitel is a ceramics teacher here at the high school. She's been the ceramics teacher for four years. Um, she teaches the students the right way to make ceramic pieces and um, teaches them about different clays and um, materials and how to use the wheel. Um, here's a part of that. in order to teach ceramics and where did you go? Okay, I went to college, I went to Kutztown State College which is in Pennsylvania. I have a Bachelor of Science in Art Education which enables me to teach art uh, K through 12, any kind of art. Uh, I didn't have any specific training for ceramics other than what I have learned doing here uh, through a lot of books uh, and hands-on. What do students learn and make in your class? Oh boy, they learn a lot of things. They learn the proper way to work with the clay and the materials, to be responsible for themselves. Uh, they learn how to throw pots on the wheel. They learn how to do a lot of hand building projects. Uh, three of the hand building types are pinch pots, coil pots, and slab pots. They do a lot of that. They learn about glazes. They learn about the chemistry of glazes and clay. Uh, what happens to clay when it goes into the kiln as, long, as well as the glazes and they also learn safety which is very important especially when you're working on the wheel and you're working with materials which could have the potential to be uh, toxic if you're not careful with them. What are some different... Alright, back over to Josh and Will for a little bit of jazz night. So cool. Hey. Hello, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, recently, hey. Hopewell Valley uh, performed a jazz night. Actually, we performed a jazz week. And to uh, top it off, Mr. Corelli uh, decided to have a jazz night. And uh, let's roll that clip as I talk about it. Here we can see one of the uh, members 
Walter Varley. Walter Varley of the uh, teacher student band that played in the hot cafeteria uh, where food was also served. Food that was more popular in the era of the 20s. And uh, Russ Moore. Hmm? Russ Moore. His name is Russ Moore. He was on the drums. They had an excellent uh, band that was there. I actually stopped by, I actually taped this, and I, I actually decided to stop and sit for a while to listen to them because they were so good. And we had many activities. Art work was displayed out in the hallways, 20s art, you know, the pop art that was popular back in that culture, back in that era. And uh, it was a great night, and people from all over, not just the high school, but all over Hopewell Valley stopped by and saw what was going on. It was a good chance to show what a great school we are and how well our students work in many different fields. Now, on to our neighbors. Hello. Hello, we're back. We're here to talk to you about Blues Workshop, which was also another event that happened during the Jazz Week that Will just mentioned. Um, the Blues Workshop ha was during one of the days of the Jazz Week, and it included many of the faculty members and students singing and performing. And uh, some of the faculty members were Mr. Newman, Mr. Roland, and Mr. Seltzer. And there were students as like uh, Gavin Skinner, Mike Benici, and Walter Varley. And all featured around the room were, was artwork, films, and food from the 1920s. And it was very good, and it was surprising how well the um, teachers were. You didn't expect teachers to be that good, especially Mr. Seltzer. He was on the harmonica, and he did a great job. And uh, we hope that we can have another uh, event like this next year. It was very entertaining. We enjoyed it a lot. And now we're all back, one big happy family. I told you we had the teleportation device that <laughs> brought Joshua and myself oh, over to our neighbors. <laughs> you guys are so okay. lucky. You guys don't have to work with him. Um, we hope you enjoyed so the show annoying. and tune in next time. Bye. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this. Goodbye.